Hello everybody, Cone Dodger here, and welcome back to the Conelanders League here in Dirt Rally. This week we are in Germany, and I will be continuing my promise to try every 70s vehicle in the 70s. So we are moving on to the Fiat 131 of Barth. It is the least powerful of all of the cars, and it is heavier than most of the cars. That means that this is going to be great. So this month, setting up Conelanders, I've learned something new. Apparently, morning overcast in Germany actually means morning it just got done raining. So we are going to be dealing with some wet concrete and cobblestone for our first two stages. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. Starting out with a short stage. Once again. Put in first. I'm at it to the floor. I'm now trying to use the the light box to launch instead of listening to the co-driver. As I saw a tip that that is faster than listening for the go. And we need every little bit we can get this week, especially as the Lancia seems to have a very large advantage as it has the power advantage and the weight advantage and the power over the right wheels advantage. So here in Germany it really shows as the car performance I think gets highlighted a little bit more than some of the other events. We will be using the Lancia in Finland. I would say it needed more gear but I think I gave it all the gear it would take so there's even some time lost just in that. The, the slick track is interesting. It actually makes Germany a little bit more fun, I think. Bert's not going to like to hear that. He was not pleased about the, the wet conditions. I think it really helps you have the ability to slide around a little bit like you're inclined to do in a rally environment <laughs> when you're ready for it. I'm having, I think I want to move the brake bias back with this setup a little bit. This setup more stable. I have a less stable one too. But I want more stable for these conditions. So I'm having to be a little light on the brake pedal, which is not usually my style. Feels a little too reserved through there. You can see it pushing the nose out mid-turn as I'm locking up the brakes. Not ideal. Maybe just one click back would do. Oh, it bit me there. It bit me hard. Son of a gun. That's the last place you want to lock up the front tires. Yep, definitely going to change that. Joey's practice. In the conditions that you're going to be facing. Yeah, the brakes. Oh, stupid resets. Well, this is going to be a struggle. This is not going to be a good week at all. Germany usually my favorite. And this is where we're going to struggle. That was a sad finish too. Yeesh. That's... I know it's just the first stage, but that's going to be a lot to try and recover from. 37 seconds back. Probably well, well, well down the charts, because that's... Not the kind of stage to be having those issues. Ouch! 32nd of uh, the 47 that have gone so far. Well behind even... Uh, well, <laughs> Wapalupa just started <laughs> and I'm well behind him. So that's... that's uh, we, we, got, we got our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Okay, I moved the pressure down, and I moved it to the, the brake bias to the rear a little bit. Hopefully that takes care of that issue for yet another wet stage here in Germany. Five, Let's see. Four, three, two, one, go. Can turn left one. 
I don't know that there's too much time to be gained there, but especially today, we need every bit we can get. All right. Oh, that was actually pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with uh, that chicane performance. Okay, the brakes much better already. That's good. That brake vice might be all right in the dry, but it just wouldn't work in the wet. And overall, I just I like a car that rotates on the brakes anyway. I don't like a car that rotated like that. That was unpleasant. I would say overall, in practice, this is the last of the 70s cars for me to drive. I've driven all the other ones now. Just based on what I've seen so far in Germany, I don't know about what it would be like in dirt. Not my favorite. It has so little power down low that it can't correct itself is the main issue that I've I've had. And overall, it just feels a little cumbersome. But it's certainly still drivable and uh, you can do well with it. People have brought this car up into the top 10 this week. So there's certainly some improvement that would need to happen to the nut behind the wheel. At least I didn't knock down that kickstart sign or knock into it instead of knocking it down. A lot of shifting with this car. That is that is one thing I've noticed. I guess because it is so high strung. It feels like you're constantly shifting, going down the first in the hairpins. I'm glad I fixed the brake bias. That was a place that would have bit me. Oh, too far. Thought it was slower than that. First. It was okay. That's a place that I usually struggle. So I'm okay with that. Yeah, I kind of like it here in these tight sections. Is this the one with the really steep hill at the bottom? Yep. Yep. And it's just impossible to break for. Well, yeah, sure. If you start breaking about three minutes too early, you can do it. I feel like we're going too fast. Nope. Saved it. Oh, that was very close to a rock on the inside. I don't know if you could see that, but I can feel it. I can smell it. Well, that was certainly an improvement. I don't think we, uh, I don't think we saved ourselves from that first stage, but at least it was an improvement. Yeah, only 14 back. That's that's a lot better. Uh, do I want to replay from here? I kind of do because I like the way that it looks in the rain. 20s would be nice. 21st. All right, we're catching up to you, Kurt. Uh, we got a big long stage to try and try and make that happen. I was using the Stratos. Forgot about that. So hopefully there's no long straightaways there <laughs> in the last stage. Uh, I don't think we'll be anywhere near the point. Let's see if we can get up into the teens. That would that would be nice. That would be a good goal to have. Bamholda, Bamholda Jamane. All right, here we go. Trying to trying to make it happen here in this last stage. Mostly no mistakes is what we need. We'll have to we'll have to hope that that Lancia and its crazy green engine handling led to some mistakes for those ahead of us, and then our mundane Fiat can just guide us to the end, mistake free. Because you know, there's no involvement from me there. It's it's all the car. 
keep right. I put a little bit more gear in it. I don't know, I know that we'll need it. Well, I guess we'll need it a little bit right here. I had the fifth gear maxed out, but I didn't have the uh, I didn't have the final drive maxed out. I could have a little bit more, but I didn't want to like kill it off of these hairpins and such. There's a lot of pulls from like first gear here. This is always an awkward little section, I remember it. First. Yeah, I could have given more wheel. After all this time, I'm still getting yelled at for not turning in early enough in rally. And I'm not going to say anybody's wrong for saying things like that. I'm just going to say that for whatever reason, my brain doesn't seem to operate that way. I don't think it's as much of an issue here on the asphalt. It's probably the dirt. The line I could cut that because I I did, and I didn't even know if there was rocks. Proper steering technique. I will say this, how many people are using H better in the 70s? Huh? Huh? Not that many, I bet. It certainly adds another... It just like takes away one of the channels your brain has to, to operate. What's the double passion for? Because that's not really a three, that's why. A little too much dirt. Crest 80. Caution turn right four. Immediate turn acute right. Don't cut. 100. He said acute right, but it didn't look like it was. You might even say it was deceptive. Keep left over crest 100. Pass he didn't, but you might. 100. Keep left over crest. Into turn heaven right. Don't cut. Stylish entry. Stylish. Now it'll be a magazine cover. Slow guy in Fiat makes amazing turn. More on page 63. That rock right there on the inside's bit me before. I like that what I remember of stages is not how to drive them, it's just what's killed me in the past. And I never notice it until after I'm past it. And it's too bad that first stage was so poor. I think we've really kicked it up since then. It is still early in the stage, though. Plenty of time to screw it up. I don't know that I was going to cut that one anyway, but that's all right. Oh, saw it. Okay, came back. I guess my foot was still on the brake when I... Oops. I'm not used to going to first gear. It's very... It's a challenge to try and, like, remember that you have to do that in this car. You really gotta keep it wound out. I don't think that's first gear. Yes, it is. Just kidding. Bid turn shifts, that's how they teach you how to do it in driver school, I'm sure. Someday I will do a rally school. It's on my it's on my bucket list. Because I need more confirmation that I'm not good at it. Turn square right tight, don't 
to lap five over the top 100. I think this has been a really good last stage. 100 through death. I almost want something to go wrong now, so I can be like, Oh, that first stage didn't matter anyway. Keep left over crest. Immediate turn head and right I thought I was too deep into there, but... Kind of recovered from it. Oh, be brave. Let's do it. I'm being brave. Flat. I don't, I don't know if that was... Particularly brave. This car's too slow to be brave. Oh, we're easy now. And keep left over crest. Turn square left don't cut. This is a very busy stage, isn't it? Finish. Finish. Oh, we're done. Woo! Yeah, that was that was pretty nice. Twenty-three seconds back on a long stage from I'm sure Maestro. I am pretty pleased with that. Uh, let's just continue on. Let's just see. Let's see if we beat Kurt. Let's see if we made it into the teens. I uh, I probably don't want to think about how far up we could be if not for the first stage. But you can't turn back time now. Actually, not as far up as I expected. Up to 18th. Only uh, only two ahead of Kurt there. So everybody going quick here in Germany. That's okay. That's all right. We will uh, we'll just continue our little trek through the 70s here, and uh, next next week I don't remember where we're at, but we're in we're going to be in the uh, Ford, which was our car of choice for the 70s. So that'll be familiar territory, and I look forward to it. So I will see you next time. Yeah, my up top, of course. Uh, Stapley had a really good run here. Go check out his video. He does really good uh, really good videos. So go check him out. He had a nice run. Uh, yeah, before I start rambling on, thanks for watching, see you next time.